Hello, I'm walking up the hill on Nojima Island in Yokohama which overlooks Tokyo Bay to the east and the mountains of Chiba just beyond and in a westward direction on a clear day looks out to Mount Fuji but uh, even though it's sunny there's a bit of cloud out west at the moment it's 10 to 5 and sunset today here is uh, at 5.31 so it's only going to take me another 10 to 15 minutes to get to the top of the hill chance to rig up my cameras to get hopefully a nice shot or two of the late afternoon light and if I get a good one I'll enter it into a competition that I know about and I'll put information in the uh, description on this clip and the competition title is light you're allowed to interpret that in any way you want really but I thought late afternoon sunlight might be worth a shot actually yesterday I was out and about in Yokosuka city centre and it was uh, raining but I thought even though I didn't have my camera with me I'd use my flip phone camera to take some um, practice shots even though it was raining and uh, get my uh, get the ideas flowing through my brain for example oh here they are I'll show you some of the ideas I had like refreshments shop light backlight light drizzle Um, backlight. We've done that. A beer sign, like refreshment. We've done that. Oh, shop light. We've done that. More shop light. Um, uh, shop light. We've done that. Oh, uh, um, uh, light drizzle. We've done that. Um, uh, light rain. Oh, karaoke sign. Light entertainment. I'm not as obsessed around sunset time as I used to be because recently I've been watching some really good tutorial clips on YouTube that sort of encourages to make more use of the light that the sun throws out rather than taking pictures of the sunset itself which can sometimes actually be quite underwhelming <laughs> in addition to any nice close-up shots I might have a chance to take you know for example flowers glinting in the late afternoon sun or stuff like that even if Mount Fuji is not visible today, there's a house on a mountain top between here and Mount Fuji that I want to photograph. I photographed it before, front lit at sunrise, but today I'll try and take a photo of it back lit before sunset. And also, additionally, I can take photos of the bay, maybe the sun glinting on the water, or out to Hakajima Sea Paradise Amusement Park. Maybe the sun will shine off the roller coaster in a pleasing way. Something else I've learned watching recent excellent tutorials on YouTube is that you don't have to shoot into the sun at sunrise and sunset. You can shoot with your back to it and capture some of the lovely colours it throws onto objects like buildings or natural objects like trees, mountains. I haven't really looked at photography in that way before, so I've kind of had my eyes opened and maybe today I'll have a chance to take advantage of sunlit things. It's about a 10 to 15 minute walk to the top of the hill and then there's like a viewing tower on top of that, so it's about 200 feet above sea level, so you do get a nice view, 360 degrees too. I'll show you that in a few minutes. 
I was planning on uh, sticking my uh, long lens on the tripod, which I'm still planning to do, and uh, taking some uh, shots with my wider lens, handheld. But before I do put my long lens on the tripod, I think I'll do some handheld shots with that too. Nearly at the top now. Yeah, even as recently as a week or two ago, I'd have uh, just been looking at the sunset, trying to get something that way, but I think I'm gonna be taking a lot more pictures with my back to the setting sun, or rising sun in the future. That bridge there is called Umi Hotaru. It spans Tokyo Bay all the way from Kawasaki to Chiba. Half of it's a bridge and half of it's an undersea tunnel. With my uh, two Pentax Q cameras and these lenses, zoom lenses, I've got focal length 35mm equivalent of 23mm all the way out to 249 Hopefully that'll be enough. But if I want to take a picture of something far away, I do have an adapter that'll take me out with a uh, Pentax K mount lens all the way to 1100 millimeters whether or not I'll need it I don't know I hope not because it's a bit of a pain in the neck to attach well well it turns out I've forgotten my uh, wide angle lens but no matter I'm at such a high vantage point here that the uh, zoom is perfectly adequate what I really want to do is just learn how to see light it's not a skill I've developed I'm not going to obsess with the sunset I'm going to obsess a bit more with how the light plays off things for example the river down there the bay behind me the mountains across the bay and of course the buildings of suburban Yokohama. Well, clearly learning, I've just remembered to change the uh, f-stop. I had it at 2.8. I don't think there was any major harm done but I've put it up to 6.3 now which is a quite high number on the Pentax Q system. I might put it up to 7.1 in a minute but for now that's fine. Shutter speed, I've got it on an 800 at the moment, well underexposed but I'll sort that out. In fact, I might set my camera to uh, aperture priority, I've never done that before. Well, there ain't going to be a sunset tonight. The clouds have uh, put paid to that, but uh, anyway, see what I can get. It's nice to be here, enjoying it. Moonlight over Yokosuka. Hmm. I was shooting at head height but then I realised it was hard to frame trees into my shot to give it some kind of depth so I've uh, made my tripod legs shorter. Can you hear the crickets? Back, considering them handheld. Yokohama Seaside Line train.
thanks for watching and uh, you can see the photo I chose to put in the competition if you look at the links below.